Allah sends his salam to you. And if it was a good soul, Allah sends two angels to carry that good soul. <coughs> Allah sends two angels to carry that good soul. And those two angels carrying that, that good soul with a beautiful appearance. And that good soul will have a beautiful appearance. And will have a beautiful perfume. And that good soul will call it with the most beautiful names. And will be ascended to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a gate to the first skies. Knock on the doors of the, on the gates of the first skies. So they say, he's there. So they say, he's the good soul of that good man with that beautiful name. So they tell him, they will come, come in. And he goes through the first sky, then the second sky, and third sky, until it stands in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah sends it back to its, soul, to its body. That's before it's taken to the cemetery. But if it was a bad soul, the angel, two angels come in a bad appearance, ugly form. Carrying a, it's got ugly appearance and ugly form, with an ugly perfume, with an ugly smell. That will be ascended to the skies, and they knock on the gate of the first skies. They say, who's that? So they say, this ugly man, with the ugly name, with the ugly smell. So they say, he's not welcome to return him back. So they throw him back to his body. And then, when they go and wash the dead, then bring him back to pray. If he was a believer, if it was a believer, they pray on him. And if it was a disbeliever, just throw him back to his uh, tip. If it was a good soul, while going to the cemetery, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, if it was a good soul. He just rushes to its grave. He rushes to its grave and says, Qaddimuni, Qaddimuni, take me, take me. I can't wait till I meet Allah, take me, take me. And if it was a bad soul, it says, Ya wailaha, ayna tadhabuna biha. What happened? Why well, are you going to take me? Don't take me. I'm going to face punishment. Don't take me. And he screams. He screams and calls. That the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if the people hear he's screaming, they'll they'll faint. We'll be screaming. We'll be heavy. We'll be so heavy. And believe me, I've experienced a lot of heavy funerals. But if it was a good funeral, if it was a good pious, if it was a good pious person, if my found it just so rushed, so quick, if found it just quick in five minutes, we'll be there. Why? Because he wants to go meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it was bad, he starts to scream. Subhanallah, you find 10, 20 people carrying his coffin, or carrying the coffin, and he finds it so heavy. But subhanallah, sometimes, wallah, two people carry one coffin, and subhanallah, it's like Allah is a feather. Piety. Winner. Successor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ala inna awliya Allahi la khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahzanun. لَهُمُ الْبُشْرَى فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ They're the close ones to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no fear or harm on them. They've got the good news in this life and the hereafter. And what's the good news in this life? They're going to die as a good and successful person. A successful person. That's a good news that Allah Azza wa gives them. There's no fear or harm on you. Until it's taken to the grave. Once it's taken to the grave, it's put in the grave. People will stand around. People will stand around. And the Prophet sallallahu said, That wallahi, they hear more than what you hear. And they are listening more than what you listen. They could hear everything. They could hear everything. Even the footsteps of the people. And people will be standing around and he's watching them. If it was a good one, he will be happy. If it was a bad one, he will be sad. What goes in with his grave? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يَتْبَعُ ابْنُ آدَمْ يَتْبَعُ الْمَيِّتُ ثَلَاثِ فَيَبْقَى وَاحِدْ وَيَرْجَعِ اثْنَانِ يَتْبَعُهُ مَالُهُ وَأَهْلُهُ وَعَمَلُهُ فَيَبْقَى وَاحِدْ عَمَلُهُ وَيَرْجِعُ مَالُهُ وَأَهْلُهُ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, that the dead, <coughs> it follows the dead to the cemetery, three things. His family, his mother, his father, his brothers, his sisters, 
his son, his, his daughters, his children, follow him to the cemetery. And his wealth, his cars, the cars that his mother or his father or his wife driving, and all the wealth that his family carries, follows him all the way to the cemetery. And why, what's the third thing? Amalu. His deeds follows him to the cemetery. What he done good in this life, and what, what he done bad in, his, in this life. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, <coughs> once it's put in the grave, two things will go back and one will remain. His family and his wealth will go back and his deeds will stay with him. His family and his wealth will go back. Khalas, no longer. What happens? His family goes back to start dividing his wealth. That's what happens. His family goes back they forget about him, خلاص. we left him in the dust and the mud. Now what do we do? Okay, he's his wealth, let's start dividing it. خلاص. He died, he died. But what is he left with? He's left with the questions on his family and his wealth. He's left with his deeds. Why he done good? Why he done bad? So his family is dividing the wealth, and him is in the grave, he's being asked about that wealth. He's in that grave, being asked about that wealth. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make a dua. <coughs> and used to say, Allahumma ahini miskinan, wa amitni miskinan, wa ahsunni ma zamrat min masakin. Ya Allah, make me live like a miskin, and make me die as a miskin. And ya Allah, make me with a masakin in a day of judgment. Make me die with a masakin in a day of judgment. One of the scholars used to all the time say, he used to say to himself, Ya Yazid, He's going to pray for you when you die with his name of prayer. He's going to fast for you when you die with his name of fasting. He's going to pay zakat for you when you die with his name of zakat. Oh Yazid, wake up on yourself. What are you going to do when the grave is your house and the sand is your blanket and your mates are the worms? What are you going to do? You'll be dead with a coffin, not even a dollar on you. Why? Because Allah Azza wa Jalla doesn't want that wealth. He wants you. He wants to see what have you done with that trust that Allah had entrusted you. Allah wants to see what have you done with that trust that He had entrusted you. That's why remind yourself about death. The, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ahsinu, Ahsinu dhanna bi rabbikum. Before you die, all the time, have the best and the good thought of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have the good thoughts that Allah will forgive you. <coughs> have the good thoughts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have mercy on you. لا يمتن أحدكم إلا وهو يحسن الظن بربه Don't die unless you have good thoughts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, من أحب لقاء الله أحب الله لقاءه وَمَنْ كَرِهَ لِقَاءَ اللَّهِ كَرِهَ اللَّهُ لِقَاءَ Whoever loves to meet Allah, Allah loves to meet him. And whoever hates to meet Allah, Allah hates to meet him. Only a believer loves to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because he knows what he had prepared for Allah azza wa jal. He knows what he's going to take with him when he faces Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But who hates to meet Allah? Are those ones who are too busy in the haram. Too busy with the dunya. Too busy in this life. Too busy collecting the money. Too busy collecting the fame. Too busy collecting the strength. They hate to meet Allah. And Allah hates to meet them. When Allah hates to meet them, Allah Azza wa Jal punishes them in their death. And inshaAllah, next week I'll talk about the grave. And the punishment of the grave. And the luxury of the grave. Where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's either a hole of the fire of hell or a corner of the paradise.